behind us? I'm worried about the things around us. How that I got a crazy people. idea. What, that we could be under the Ash Keeper Peaks and these are mining tunnels? We, yeah. Well, no, that's really, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else hurting? Uh, how are you, Ford? You got hit too, didn't you? Yeah, I think I got bit by a cow, actually. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I could use a little loving. Was it a bad bite? Yeah, let me see what I got. The fucking teeth, man. Yeah, yeah. cows are shitty. Yeah, they, all they, they do is they chew like all day. Man. Flat, but that's flat teeth yeah, but for the grinding. the pressure, right? That is a big skull. If you think about it, per square inch, it's a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Uh, if we got a second, I can I can uh, cast Prayer of Healing and oh. do a little bit of... I don't know if I have that one for um, the so. Oh, no, it's cool. Yeah, just just heal. No, it's I'll do, I'll do Prayer of... I'll, if we have 10 minutes, if yes. we're going to like take a take a quick breather, I'll, I'll cast Prayer of Healing. So okay, let's go ahead and roll for prayer of healing. Yeah, where am I? Here we are. That's a... <laughs> Just cow bit. No big deal. Yeah, it's a little cow bite. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've all been bitten by cows before, haven't we? You're really close 16, to bruise. That's a 16... Uh, are you poking? 16 hit points to whoever wants it. Hey, 16. 16. 16 to anybody. 16. I'll take it. 16. Yeah. All right. Almost Boosh. there, almost. Up to full. Thank you. Good, Daisy. Good job, Caduceus. Mm. Ah, uh, no problem. Yeah, same for me. But I can just kind of re up it every once in a while. Well, but and you, I think you look just fine. I, did. I mean, that's the sense I get. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> don't worry, Glizzo, and you're just gonna not even paying attention to the conversation. I mean, uh, uh, that's the sense I get. What's up? What's up with what? Oh, I was uh, just wondering. Uh, our friend here, Mr. Ford, is probably going to be a. Uh, uh, not necessarily welcomed with open arms, but he's not going to draw any odd glances or anything in this town of yours. I'm just uh, assuming. He's kind of tiny for an orc, but uh, it should be okay. Uh, no, is, no, is that no, true? Ford, you're really I big. Had... You're very large and stuff. Fun sized. He's pretty small. Smugglers, sometimes. From where do you hail? Everywhere. Oh, not for us. Really? For me, yeah. I need you both to make deception checks. <laughs> deception? Six, Seventeen. You're definitely not from all over. You're oh, from you're yeah. from a, you're from one place. That's right. <laughs> uh, Nineteen. Seventeen. Okay. Kind of looks squarely at each of you as you say this, and turns the nose of a bit and like gives a, a very brief nod. You hear the plates of the metal kind of creaking as he shifts the weight from one hoof mm. to the other. That is beautiful, by the way. I've never seen anything like it before. Thing. All right, I was. <laughs> Go ahead and make a perception check for me. Yeah. Ugh, that's terrible. Twelve. Twelve. You don't really hear much, unfortunately. It's pretty quiet. Not. Might be sleeping. Take, oh, take your ear away for a second, and I'll go <laughs> against oh, the side of it. Okay. Now, do you hear anything? I would say both you guys make perception check. You with disadvantage. Just right. based on the failure of the last roll. Uh, 17. 15. Okay. Still hard for you to pick up a little bit against the door. You hear what sounds like skittering. Yeah, on some spider level. Some tiny squeaks, some scratching, more skittering. A ways away. It's like a distant echo, and you're only barely able to make it up against the door. Yeah, sounds like a bunch of little things. But he did say a bunch of little squeaks and then a roar. So maybe whatever the bigger thing is just has something to clean up the scraps. Yeah. Or it was the sound of one of them, one of the, the panther things dying. Or perhaps yeah. we are talking about uh, babies and mama. Yeah. Could be babies and mama. Hard to say. The, the tail. Okay. And <laughs> hand it over to Caduceus and go, like, shouldn't we uh, maybe hold on to these for something? Uh, Probably well, talked to Nod about that. That's not a terrible idea. I mean, they're really venomous and poisonous and sure. Ooh, yeah, yeah, paralytics yeah. and all. No. A final squeeze sends the last breath from your lungs in a muffled scream. You shoot awake, vomiting onto the ground next to you. Caduceus, you see this as suddenly shoots up. You look down, eyes blinking to see foam and briny seawater now slowly soaking into the hard packed ground. Ford, are you all right? <clears throat> yeah, uh, yeah, just another, uh, 
It's another dream. Would you uh, characterize this as a positive encouragement or a, um, perhaps a more negative reinforcement? Uh, I think more of the latter. I don't feel like um, my favor with uh, old Ukatoa's <clears throat> as choice as it once was. Why do you think it's angry with you? You remember I told you there were like words that were repeated through these visions? No, but sure. <laughs> right, so I tell him about the old four words. <laughs> <laughs> Given that. Yeah. There were two new words, three maybe. I don't know, I'll have to go back and watch it on <clears throat> BOD. <laughs> I think that the gods and goddesses of Twitter will remind you of all those words <laughs> within know. minutes. If only someone would draw it. Um, <laughs> but it, it, it was laced with uh, a, a threat. A uh, threat? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be helping it to re be released, right? Freed upon the world, and I have decided that that's not the best course of action. Uh, in my dream, it saw fit to crush me. Well, how do you feel now that you're not dreaming anymore? Better. Well, well, that's good. You ever feel like you're not going to wake up from a dream when you're in it? Yeah. I'm worried but about that. Here you are, and. I'm sure it could probably, uh, it would put greater strain and stress against you for doing it, for not following its wishes if it could, but it didn't. What if it can? Why hasn't it? I don't know, one thing I am sure of though, it feels stronger, it feels more present, closer. Well. I'm proud of you for maintaining your sense of self through all this. It's difficult sometimes when one is pulled by things greater than ourselves. You you said you commune with the the mother, the all. I do. Yeah. Do you? Is it a two way thing, or are you just putting yourself out there and seeing what comes back? Oh, very much a two way thing. I mean, there's no way. Nature isn't separate, we're part of it. Uh, we communicate with the world every day with every breath. Everything we do is our declaration of our love, adoration, or our denial of it. Do you think she, uh, do you think she cares about the affairs of something like this? Very much so. Without a doubt, I mean, I'm here. I'm getting the feeling that maybe if I do nothing, like any kind of disease, it might just get worse. Maybe I should start thinking about a counter agent. Is that what you want? Maybe. Well, I mean, my dreams are one thing, right? But, and I kind of like kick some dirt on the vomit and spittle. That shit is, uh. It looks uncomfortable. It's real. So. Well. I don't know. I think it's worth thinking about. And I think there will come a day where you really will have to make that choice. Uh, we'll help you with that choice, whatever it ends up being. I do think you're on a path, and I don't necessarily think it's uh, the path of just being a servant to some creature. Uh, I'm very impressed, though. Thanks. I'll uh, I'll cook something if you need to no, no, put I'm that in. That's a, a lot came out of you. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'll be fine. I'm just gonna crash back out if you don't mind. No, no problem. <clears throat> oh, God. May have to tell the others in the morning just for safety's sake. Everybody is going to take care of you. It's going to be all right. 
I turn over and try to go back to sleep. Okay. I had, as I've told Ducey here, another uh, another dream. A wet dream? Not wet. It was there was oh, wet, it was there was moisture. Wet, okay, there was it's, a lot look, of there are a lot of the distinction is wet important. Dream. There's a big puddle right over there from it. I don't. I mean, it, why wouldn't you? Th- yes, I had another wet dream. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, more of the same or what? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. That succeeds. Um, so you've earned the ability now to at least give these commands, but you do not gain the advantage as well. If we hadn't gained the commands, would they have just taken off fucking running, <laughs> <laughs> never come back? It, it would have meant that uh, they you you don't know how they act. You could have got them oh, going, geez. but getting them to stop is going to be a very interesting experience. I do, I do, to be fair, have the spell command. So oh, worst case yeah. scenario, and they, worst case scenario, you have that at your disposal. I can actually give a one word command to mine, and it will it'd be forced to yes. obey me at least. Boy. Did you would never do that to us, right? So if we would have rolled like really well on the first roll, would we have to even do the checks? A cast command. Yeah, it was it was it was a, a growing DC with each check to see how how well. Gandhi's already been taken. <laughs> What's the theme? I don't know. Well, we've got Yannick and Yarnball, the UBU. And Yandi. UBU. Yandi's an alpaca in another dimension. You do is a good name. <laughs> I'm so confused about the theme. Yep. What was helpful? Yeah, you're a Clarabelle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yannick, Yarnball, and Clarabelle so have cute. been decreed. Thank you. It's my sister. <laughs> She's weird, dude. <laughs> and your Moorbounder after your, your sister? sister. <laughs> Wait, does a... the Moorbounder remind you of your sister, or does your sister remind you of the Moorbounder? I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. That's a good point. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah. Are you hitting on the ivy, Caduceus? Well, I mean, it's just, it, this is a surprising plant to find out in the middle here, in the middle of nowhere. It sounds like he's hitting on it. Yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Are you local? Surprising what's brought, to find you What here. brought you here? Yeah, been here long? <laughs> Fancy crossing paths. Come with anybody? Like ships in the night. There is also the last... <laughs> As you're trying to understand what they're saying to you, you kind of look past and come into focus. No idea any of this is happening. <laughs> Food begins to arrive for you. Hey guys, I got the, oh. <laughs> you're going to get your asses kicked, you didn't eat. <laughs> As everyone's preparing? Bring it back to the table. As everyone's Caduceus. Yeah. L- look, look a little grumpier. Yeah, now give me, yeah, like real sour puss. Yeah, yeah, now chew on the back of your teeth. Let me see your jaw move. There you go. Now keep that face while we're walking, all right? <laughs> oh, Caduceus Clay, it's a pleasure to me. Oh, it's a pleasure to me. Hey, Ducey, you can, yeah. you, and not in here. Oh, that was really hard. Yeah. Okay. Ha. Ah. Right, the golden one. <clears throat> Mild calisthenics. No, we're not doing that. Fucking cold out. It's the worst way to hurt your joints without warming up first. I learned something new every day. Well, yeah. uh,. Let's assemble the troops and head to the head to the haunted well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, shit. We do this right, we'll be down that well, close the portal, back in our beds before sun comes up. It'd be great. Yeah. That we could have done anything with it. What do we know now? What she told us. I think she was telling the truth, and I think we'll learn more just by walking this place at this point. I mean, we're gonna learn. I know that I talked to a 1,200-year-old drow that's been a Fucking million different people and a goblin that was probably nine hundred and ninety-nine thousand people. Like, ever fuck. who knows what we're in the middle of now? No, it's exciting. It is exciting. It is. Well, shopping. Let's toss them out. You said a blacksmith earlier, right? Yeah. Keep hoping to deal with this. I'll join you with that. I'm sure you want to find the uh, fir- the firmament. The yeah, I'd like to go to that library or the. There's a place I'm looking for too, and we're we're getting nearer. Yeah, it's yeah. Here? You you mentioned that you said yeah, it like a crematorium a, or a kiln, kiln in the mountains for bodies. Yes. What kind yeah. of bodies? You think it's here? I do. I think it's close. Uh, who owns it? What is it made of? How do you know about it? Well, that's complicated. But there. Are there is one more than one way to 
honor the body of a hero. And there are, while well, there is a small clearing in the middle of a forest where you can put someone beneath the ground and something unusual springs forth, there's a place where you can burn the remains to an ash and something unusual springs forth. Something unusual like a, a new body or a plant? Just something unusual. Uh, it's uh, I've never been, but there are uh, there are three sacred sacred sites of my particular group of people, and the cemetery is just one of them. The garden and the kiln is the next, and I'm hoping maybe if we find the kiln, I can starts to piece together what's happening to my home. Are you planning on burying a body there or crematorying a body there? Well, I suppose whichever one of you I like least. Huh. Yeah, that's, that's a little joke. I could do some humor. <laughs> I'm working on it. Working on it. Oh boy, yeah. I think that you think they may have answers. But this place, job. forgive me, I don't know much about it, but from what we've heard, this place is all about Eternal life and preserving souls forever, not burning, burning them and ending. Not burn, everyone gets eternal soul. life here. And not everyone, but she was. What she, she was talking about, imagining a world where, where you could control your own destiny because everyone was sort of immortal, wasn't she? Yeah, I have a question about that though. Like, what if somebody doesn't want to be? Do they get consecuted? Stuck? Yeah. Do they have to be consecuted? Also, point what if of order. you get consecuted and you realize, like, shit, I really wanted to, you know, pass on. I wanted to, to see what was on the other side. Well, didn't anybody else think it was weird that Shadow Hand is still in his first life and has a lot of, I don't know, seems like a lot of clout around I here? Get the, I get the sense that it's not something that everybody gets, that it's a, that it's a delicacy. Mm-hmm. That maybe some are told they get, and maybe don't actually, and maybe it's a way of preserving. I think maybe it's you. something you earned. Too early to tell. He mentioned he was a prodigy mm. with the Dunamancy magic, so right. I think that's what made him excel in ranks. Okay. We don't know a lot. Yeah, we don't. It's a lot being thrown at us. No. Ooh, <laughs> right. Yeah, the more bounders. Um, we should probably do something about that. I think we just let them off the leash and just have them at it. <laughs> Spash it up a bit around here. No? Wrong thing first in the morning? All right, I'm open to suggestions. Is there a... You to understand. If, if we were to keep them on the prem- premises, is there a particular uh, uh, place that you would uh, most like them to be hidden if, if you had your, your pick of, of... The back. That would suffice. We'll, we'll, we'll take them into the back, no problem. I'm just going to leave a gold coin on the, on the table and place it. He snatches it up. Um, That's fair. So at some point in the night, it seems that your moorbounders were delivered and chained to the front exterior of the tavern. Um, they're all the chain wrapped around uh, some of the front porch, kind of load-bearing pillars that hold the the uh, what was the second floor balcony, and two of them are starting to kind of bow a bit from the tension. And the three of them are just kind of sitting there, kind of curled up in the front, pulling at the chains. One of them's kind of biting at the side of it, and people are keeping a very wide berth around your creatures. I don't know. Maybe they should be paying us. It seems like extra security for me. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I can understand. Like, it's, it is it does create a certain selective clientele of people who feel comfortable coming within certain distance of a carnivore such as this. Are they carnivores? Are they omnivores? One of them proceeds to relieve itself in a heaping. Warm pile, right? Yeah, he's here. comfortable here. Yeah, that that's giant fair. horse panther is definitely a carnivore. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's let's take him around back. Why don't we? Uh, All right. Yeah. Okay, walk out front. Right. <laughs> so what are we up to this morning? Well, I had some errands. We had some errands to run. If I remember. That's right. We were going what to split up. Weren't we? Oh, we were, we're going, going to talk to, to, to the, the library. Yeah, library blacksmith. Look for some general groceries. Could use a diamond. Could we use could a, use a diamond. Could Ooh, use a, some. some we could use a diamond. Goals. Raise your hand if you want to go seek knowledge and look at books and stuff. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're the only enthusiastic ones about this. No, I mean that's fine. We're just deciding who goes where, right? I mean. Yeah. Sure. 
I'm more of a browse, shop browsing and a blacksmith kind of. You, you, you all are, you, who, who's going with you? Is it you two? I'm going with me. And Ford the is three coming of you? with you. Yep. Would you, would you do me a favor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you guys heading first? What are you looking for? Um, I'm trying to find a f the fine, could find blacksmith because I'm still trying to find somebody who can do something okay. with this. Roll an investigation check. Oh you. boy, can I get some help with could this? Help yeah, you can do. It. So this is yeah, you can each roll independently or yes, what? independently. My inve investigation okay. is sad. Twenty. Oh. Five. Okay, well, be, be glad that Ford helped. Uh, half the journey is you like taking Caduceus and going, I, I think it's this way. So. That smells so good over there. I that's just that's the pottery shop. Okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> but eventually. So, uh, I'll work here. What you need? Well, I have a bit of a conundrum, really. I've, I've, uh, I have this blade that, that I came across in sort of, a, shall we say, um, sp spectacular circumstances. And I've been trying, hoping, as we've traveled across across the land, and we have traveled very far, to find someone who would know how to bring it back to life. It's uh, something I've been knowing that I will find eventually. Yeah, we'll look. yeah. And takes it. And tattoos are beautiful and intricate. Um, Recognize they, they, anything on them? Uh, make a perception check. Ooh, that I can do. Oh, no, better than that. Oh my god, my number's now 19. 19, nice. Um, what looks to be just a series of lines that kind of wrap around each other, almost almost like a soft maze type design. As he reaches out and takes the blade, you look underneath the forearm, and it looks like there is an actual kind of, like a, there's a jaggedness to it at times that seems intentional, like it's a, sh it's a shape of something. It's not just the design, it's capturing some sort of un. or. Ungeometric, not geometric shape. I have a friend who's trying to learn how to how to tattoo right now. That's some spectacular work you have there. Oh, uh, thank you. Appreciate that. If things go well. I may send send her around if that's if you if you are all right with that. I think she would be most impressed. Oh, certainly. Yes. She's liable to look, but not something you can really teach. These are important in my my hometown, so. Mm. Wouldn't recommend her giving them out. Oh no, I just think she would really enjoy seeing them. You're uh, your hometown. Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> kind of gives you a look over. Make a persuasion check. Yeah. That's cocked. Cocked. 23. Woo! He looks you over and kind of grins and goes, <laughs> You're inquisitive, right? I like it. Um, well, these these tattoos are from a uh, place in the Great Wildlands where I grew up, the uh, Barofkra, it's a village out in that area, in the Rhine Plains. Barofkra? Yeah. Left home when I felt an urge to travel south, learn more of my craft, you know. Found the dynasty, and well, here we are. So these are, these, are designs of the nearby Dunrock, on the north side, where our village and our hunting grounds were. I think that's the very interesting. We are, this is actually our first day, if you can call it that, uh, in the city. We've never been here before. Yeah, you're. Uh, where are you all from? You're asking me my background. I'm real curious now. Oh, I'm. We're from from everywhere. All of us, different places. I'm from a a very very. Uh, very small temple that's uh, deep in the forests, uh, north of the Empire, very far north. Oh, that's, that's kind of where I'm from. Oh. What forest you from? Well, I mean, it's, I don't know if you've ever been there before, but uh, did, have you ever heard of the Blooming Glo Grove, or? Blooming Grove, can't say I have, sorry. The Grain Wildlands, any of that? Grain Wildlands is where I'm from. But, oh. But there's only really, You've never heard of the, of the of the of the blooming grove before. The, mm -hmm. Oh wait, wait. The bone orchard. That sounds familiar. Nah, I thought that might. <laughs> I never got used to that one. Wait, are you you saying like the Savalier Wood? Uh, yeah, I recall that's what people said. You live in the Savalier Wood. Yeah, if I recall, if I recall. <laughs> You're a crazy motherfucker. That's what some people have said. That's fair. All right, all right. <laughs> You're uh. So vertically challenged. Uh, everyone uh, like you from the 
Marath Marathkra, <laughs> the same, you know, stature? Generally, yeah. We're big. Oh, you should see the full-blooded orcs up there. Plenty of them, and they're uh, a little bigger. Well, one of the clans, anyway. Yeah, not as uh, <clears throat> not as huge down in the Menagerie Coast um, from uh, Port de Mali. Oh, you went and grown up in some of their human territory. Yeah, not not too many of us. Uh, Explains a lot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, you do the best with what you got. Um, <clears throat> Don't be ashamed of that, son. No, I ain't ashamed. Now look at you. You're you, you're mobile. Me, I I hit things real hard, but uh, so most of my day in here where it's bothering me with the heat. You've been from the Menagerie Coast. I imagine you've seen it quite a bit too in your days. Yeah, it doesn't uh, bother me so much. Good. Mr. Sport has saved my life on a couple of occasions, actually. I don't know who my family is, so I don't think so. Insight check. Make an insight check. Yeah. Aggressive. Yeah. Uh, I have been waiting for something. Uh, that's a uh, uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. I don't know who my family. Cool. Is. All right. You you've never known your family. Nope. I'm an orphan. Really. Mm -hmm. So that guy could have been your cousin or something. You don't know. I mean, I don't see the resemblance. He did have an accent similar to yours. He did. Uh huh. A little bit of a, you know, difference. Just in the height. Yeah. But you know, you looked pretty similar in the teeth. Nope, your <laughs> teeth. I'm not. I don't. You, they really didn't look alike. But you had similar oh. accents. Kind of tree in that. The way. accents was a good tell. It's, yeah, yeah, it's true. It's, what? Who raised you then? Uh, uh, the kids around me, I guess, just kind of learned from being around other orphans. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't a great place. Driftwood Asylum was very. Asylum? Like an orphanage? Yeah. Driftwood Asylum? And mm -hmm. you didn't even have, you know, like your muscles to protect you. <clears throat> So you had to rely on wits and, and cleverness. I mean, to be fair, I actually was a bit bigger than other kids when I was younger. Half orcs tend to grow a bit faster, but yeah, I just tend to get pick on a lot. I'm only one of me around. Driftwood Asylum? Yeah. Someone named an orphanage after <laughs> wood that needs to be somewhere else or really just wants to go somewhere else? It's, well, it's just also wood that if you find it, you know, it's nice sometimes. They can make art out of it I and didn't stuff. say it was a great place. Wow. Yeah. You have layers. I feel like I just learn something new every day. Yeah. Oh. Uh, where, where to, Captain? Uh, My husband has been walking around barefoot all day. <laughs> Help you keep your job? Um. The other guards looking at each other like, uh. Captain Ford. Yes. Uh, perhaps also if there's some witnesses to the actual event who, uh, um, were of sound mind to perhaps see what kind of, of giants these were and if they were armed or otherwise if they seemed to be interested in something in the mine, something Foreman, like that. Foreman, did you manage to keep any of your workers alive? Yes, there he are many other. not to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and some muttering and voices and. That was impressive. Wow. Work. Very impressive. That was the most intimidating I've ever seen you be. Yeah. That was very nice. But. How do we kill seven giants? Yeah. Oh, we're still doing that part? I think we have to I was now. just focusing on the embarrassing you part. You did that perfectly. Well, that's just the cherry on top. We do Let's, have to uh, perhaps take, take, a, take a look at the situation. Also, yes. gray, gray giants? I don't know what kind of giants. Yeah, are. I mean, probably should have gotten more details and all of that. <laughs> I think that's what we were going to get. Yeah, but hey, hey, why, why are they here? Uh, while you do that, I'm gonna scavenge. Uh, I'll stay with Caduceus. Mr. Everybody, Ford, else. where are you first? Yeah, second. please. Mm -hmm. I look around, uh, looking for this busted cart, and start scavenging. Okay, make noise. an investigation check. I'll put my yeah. arm around Caduceus as he starts to <laughs> elucidate. Okay. So, I'm very tall. <laughs> <laughs> 
I rolled a natural 19, so 25. Yes. 25, okay, scavenging around the space here. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things used to defend the outskirts of the, What are your, your two names, if you don't mind? The one that's closest to you, because I'm doing. Doing, Mr. Doing. I, I work for Mr. Ford here. I'm, uh, I, I help him deal with uh, different. <laughs> Through me, uh, help him deal with certain issues that arise. And, and uh, we have a mission here today, but we we feel like that maybe uh, part of that mission could be helping helping you with obviously. What are you guys doing here? This is just weird. <laughs> <laughs> the giant, which if you're at your full height and it's sitting, is still kind of oh, looking down at you at this point. Um, Sorn would be the one with more information. And points towards the whale that goes. Uh, we ran away from our home up the mountain. Mm -hmm. Something. Something terrible is happening there, and we came here because we needed a place to stay, and our weapons weren't as effective against these things. So we came for metal, hoping it would help. But then the people in here fought as well, and well, they're gone now, and so we're going to stay here. Well. I relay all that to you. Yep. Well, that's the trouble with people is they may go for a time, but they come back and there's a lot more of them, so. Let them come. Yeah, you're, uh, I don't know why, but Mr. Ford, Mr. Ford uh, has definitely taken the shining to you, to you too, and, and we feel like we want to help. We feel like this is not a good situation for anyone, and I, and I feel like this could probably be resolved. Um, Pretty reasonably in a positive way for everybody. Do you think your 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 friend over there who's flopping? What is? Do you, what is that again? That's a some sort of. I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, what, what kind of animal? Layers it's on layers. a whale. A whale. I don't know how to say. Whale. I don't know how to say whale and giant. So it hurts. Say matters. like a big fish. Yeah, big fish. That real big fish. <laughs> well, uh, Tonka. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, do you think you could help us uh, keep him calm for a second while we discuss things? We can try. She's a bit wound up. Hmm. What was her name one more time? Suna. Suna. The Suna. All right. Uh, Mr. Ford, I'm uh, uh, out of game relaying all this information to you. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> Do you think this is a good plan? I uh, trust your heart, Caduceus. It's in a good place. I'm curious about what's in that, these mountains. Uh, ask, all right. Ask, ask. Turn said never to go back. So here we are. Well, I would uh, I would say that we could go aid them in a in a fight, but it doesn't sound like a they would want to go back, and b me neither. Hmm. Maybe we just ask him to find a different place to hold up. Well, there's a lot of options here. There's uh, there's definitely going and, and seeing what the commotion is about because I don't like things that I don't like uh, the sound of any of that. Yeah. How big are the things that are attacking them? Hmm. You may have to talk to the. Let's let's maybe talk to the the. Uh, the, the whale uh, is fish. is not charmed. That's fine. But, nope, I but, don't know. But she's hearing everything that's going on, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The whale might be. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Preacherly things. If they are feeling that is the, the, the correct course of action. Or if they don't want to join us, we take a little rest, their hunting party comes back, does not smash us. That would be nice. And then we can go try and play Exterminator. <laughs> I mean, any type of Invasion is only going to get worse, right? I don't like these things walking with me. Yeah, the we land just... that does not. Uh, you're, you're dead. Not, you're not you're not unconscious. Out. You're not at zero hit points. You're just sleepy. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. You just but fell it, asleep. But it is an auto crit. Okay. So can I can I dispel you... that auto crit from where I am? Are you within range of it? I'm within 30 feet of him. No, yes, you can. Then I can dispel that auto crit. No, he'll. Yeah, you can. You're just within 30 feet. Okay. The second one hits. Oh. 
Well, no, they, yeah, the second, yeah. It was, so wait, it was, is he depleting hit points, or is he rolling for death saves now? No, 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 just, no death saves. Hit just hit points. Wow. He's, he's unconscious, so it's a critical hit against an unconscious okay, creature okay, okay, to hit okay, them. Okay, okay, okay. And I get to roll an attack on him? Yeah, any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. The attacker's within five feet of the creature. Gotcha. So. I get to roll an attack on him? You do. But let me roll the damage on Travis yep. first. So it's not a critical hit, because Caduceus just saved your fucking ass. So you take... I love that great card. Twelve points of piercing damage. Yeah. Okay. As it pierces in your chest, that would be twenty-four. Here's the big roll. Here's yeah, the that would be twenty-four. And then the necrotic would have been double two. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. It's a lot of dice. Yep. That's not doing right. Do you guys see that thing where somebody? Twenty-two points of necrotic damage. Yes. Okay. Yes. And your maximum hit so points is reduced by another twenty-two. <laughs> Sam's the Vegas casino. Oh you know. shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> So, mark that. <laughs> that would have been another 44 if he hadn't stopped that. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Are you alive? Uh, barely. Okay. Are your hit points lowered by that much? Yes. Mm-hmm. Reduced by another 22. <laughs> and just putting it out there, you reducing that critical hit what? probably saved his life, because if that attack reduces into maximum hit points, they die. Yeah, I know. Oh. We got to get him off that right away. There would have been no death saves. There would have been no death saves. Oh. You what? just almost that. died. Almost died. Mm-hmm. No death saves. Fuck you. For Flat out done. If Caduceus is your best friend, what do you mean? buddy. What do you mean? Why? Why? Because Why? Caduceus because he canceled the critical hit. Because the the hit it's point like maximum death. would have gone to zero. Mm-hmm. With the nature of what it's uh, this uh, thing. Was so saving cool. Dustin. Cool. Cool. Go ahead and roll. Cool. Go ahead and roll your damage, cool. Yasha. Okay. She's out. I'm moving. Watch her. I'm running over to Ford, and I'm going to just I'm going to just blast some healing into him. Okay. Um, Ford, you are conscious, by the way. Oh, you oh, are conscious? Wake. You wake up, <gasps> the pain is what knocked you out of it. The, the, uh, the, the piercing of the proboscis managed to bring you to consciousness, and you're uh, just like, oh! My fucking chest! Yeah, 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 yeah. All Seeing right. that, I... Two. I have three more to, to give out. Give another one to Ford. Mm. <laughs> 13. I but also, he's got a max. I also feel like my normal, healthy self has been diminished yeah, by it's tough. quite a fuck ton. Maybe you just sit out the next round. How do we feel that? How do we make you better for? Can we restore? Can you restore? That's you. That's you. That's you. you. Come on. I don't have that spell. Sure you do. Of course, all clerics prepare some sort of restoration. Would it, would it be? Would it be? Uh, is this a thing that would be lesser or greater restoration? Uh, make a wisdom check for me. I don't think I have either. Not wisdom. Check. Actually, no. It's not saying make, a, make a medicine check because you're, you're inspecting the wounds. Uh, and the, the corruption with it. Uh, the little 12. Worst. I'm helping him with it because help, help me. All right, I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll allow <laughs> it. Right. Usually, you gotta say beforehand. Uh, All right, twenty. Um, Where does it hurt? Whatever the the corruption within these wounds is is pretty intense. It is it is fiendish by nature, and you gather this would probably require more than a lesser. It would be a greater. It would be a greater restoration to. Uh, Correct this. Okay, I don't friend. have greater restoration. Why don't we right just sit, sit you out for the next round of this stuff? But I want to play. No, you're right. I'm a, you, I'm a, you, there's I'm nothing to get a little bit of distance. Uh, I'm going to head towards our giant, our non undead giant friend over here. 15, 20. And while I pass remember? forward, I'm going to tap him and cast Death Ward. On the giant? No, on Ford. Oh, on Ford. Right, so you have Death Ward on him. Which means that when you drop to zero hit points, you immediately pop back up to one. Great. Uh, you have a full movement or are you staying for that? Um, you have 10 more. I kind of want to hide in that corner if possible. Over just here? get a little. Yeah, just feel kind of, you know, half. Sorna looks down at you and goes, Small Orcman, this room above is where we keep the well water. And above that is the seeing chamber. The seeing chamber. For where I do my meditation. Oh. Which is translating technically through you, since you don't yeah, speak to no. me. Yeah, no. Oh, meditation room. I so. want to move down and start scouting. She called me small. I, all relative, man. I'm fucking average, uh, thing. What's what is What is that weird statue right there, out of curiosity? Uh, <laughs> it's going to take a damn thing. It's going to take, it's gonna take a, a night's sleep. Shook me real good, rattled my cage. Just, ha- just hang back for the rest of this. And hang what? near, hang near me. Hang back. Stick near me, and you'll all be right. fine. All right. When I got all these articles on me, uh, I'm pretty dangerous. I also uh, walk over to Ford. Just press your hate from a distance. Place my hand on his shoulder, and I um, park them. Ford, you should go in and stay in there too. We can't stay in where? 
in the in the bubble. You are you should be out of the. So Ford, you're staying up with Caleb. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Mr. Ford, you, you should not. All right. Everybody else resting anywhere? Um, as soon as. I'm gonna rest Sorry. right beneath so gonna stay back the bubble here. to keep an eye on them. Uh, oh, I'll go to the bubble. I think we should all be in the bubble. Yeah, let's go in the bubble. He was. <laughs> gross. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. Kill the jellyfish. That was mm. gross. <laughs> Thanks, Ford. Yeah, no problem. Caduceus! That was gross, Ford. He's okay. Yeah. What? Wow. I just seen it. Is this like, a big like an invisible outline with splatter on it? You look over in the area and you can see, you can mm. see uh, this Caduceus form that's invisible but covered in kind of semi translucent oh, blue yeah. goo. And then, <laughs> just, and then he appears in the space. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. sorry, man. So we will not greet them with open arms. I would hope not. Hey, Caduceus. Uh, could you ask her two things for me? Yes, yeah, of course. One, does she see any like giant eyes in her dreams? And two, um, did she ever see anyone, I don't know, like us sneak in and maybe deposit this device? Do you see any giant guys in your dream? <laughs> Big guys. Eyes. Eyes. <laughs> I, I understood what you said, giant. Yeah, I relay the information. I mean, there are many things with eyes. A piercing eye. He, uh, one of our, one of our people, dreams of eyes. Deeply beneath the sea. The sea, I know not much of. Do you see a kiln where, where things are forged? Do you see a a pool with animals? I cannot say I have. We press on through the night. How, how much How much longer of a ride is it? Uh, it's, on. you're looking another six hours or so. No, that's problem. fine, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never had that happen. Like, do you always think like, about that? Do you always think about where, where your hand? Because suddenly I'm like, just it's all I can think about. It's like, are they supposed to be? Like, you put them in your pockets, or do you, I mean, because it's cold out. But then look. This is not really <laughs> getting us anywhere. Um, mm. Maybe I could give it a try. Oh yeah, no, I, absolutely. You are, you are. Uh, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, can I go up you can, and you can try it as well? Yeah. Investigation check. Oh. Or persuasion, you try to spend. Twelve. Okay. Okay. Takes you another twenty minutes or so, but eventually you're trying to find somebody who looks both knowledgeable and not in the middle of something that would be willing to kind of engage. Especially with with the downpour, folks seem to be a little more shut off than usual. Like you uh. <laughs> It's, what? it's like your hand is just nowhere to be. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are as much as you can, and I'll lean over to Justin and go like, "I will be over at uh, Worst's place. I need to ask him a few questions. You guys got this." Are you sure? Yeah. No, it's fine. And I'll head out. Do come back. Thank you for your time. He's been off all day. Yeah, so I, I, it seems a little off, right? Yeah, just a little off. And I'll head back towards. That's weird. Oh, I'm gonna go follow him. Right. <clears throat> um, while I'm going to um, give kind of Caduceus a little eye. Oh wait, I don't even know that you saw anything in the back. Mm. So, do you guys go and regather? I'm giving him the eye the entire time, but yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> All right. You guys make your way back to uh, to gather at the Dim's Inn. Yeah, I want to watch whatever Caduceus is doing. All right, yeah, Caduceus, what are you doing? So, not that I don't have great ambition. Just try it. I'm going to want to move as okay. like a bunch of dirt. I'm going to try and make a rooftop <laughs> garden up the top of the okay. tower. Uh, th there is dirt to be found. Yeah. Who doesn't? That's true. The shopkeeper did really like. I mean, he's a hundred thirty lean pounds of hot. Okay, add forty-five. No, <laughs> sixty. We spend ninety-five. Yeah, I'll distract it. Okay, it's not a problem. Yeah. No day like the present. I mean, I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> Producer, how you doing? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Enough said. Yeah. <laughs> This is complicated. It's got some heavy Disney. Basha, you can get your stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like that makes a. 
in 21 days. I can finally finish up that project for you that I've been meaning to, to finish up. Uh, who is responsible for that smell? Oh, the previous tenant is still in. Oh. Uh, underneath the mattress. Sorry. Uh, okay. Are you sure? No, I think I actually think Caleb's right. All right, Morrow, you gotta die. Wait, wait, what? Any last words? No, 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 I've, I've been cordial, I've been very upfront about all I this. Am, I am actually of the opinion that there might be an option here. All right, I'm listening. I think that we can come to a financial arrangement. Mm, go on. I think that maybe we can leave a little gold in return. Nothing is spoken of, and maybe if anybody, any of this party, especially if we leave a small sketch of who we're looking for arrives, we are simply gently alerted. And in return, everything is just left as it is. I mean, to be fair, if, even if they're, we leave right now just with a giant pile of bodies in here is a big problem for these two anyway. That is true. Platinum, <gasps> from the platinum That's that we scooped no, out. No, what are you, are, I mean, We already go dropped off some gold, didn't we? I don't think, do we give them gold yet? Yeah, we dropped off some gold, right? Stop didn't it. you, and your plan? Um, I mentioned it, I didn't actually get around to it. I recall. I don't know. Maybe. Do it. 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 Did you just bolster your fingers? I did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nobody, nobody cares. Should we ask him? We should, yeah. Oh. Um, if we talk to this um, dead hobgoblin, yeah. we think maybe you should make yourself look like the drow guy he was with, because you can sound like him, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's cool. You're really good at impersonating people, after all. Yeah, he sounded kind of like higher crust, right? Okay. Can you do, can you wear his face as well? Sure. Uh, yep, I remember. And I'll use mask of many faces to look like El Drow dude. El Drow blast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are remember. we asking? How does this look? Ooh. Ooh. That's very impressive. Not oh. bad. Isn't it? So I'm going to give you some ground rules before we go into this. All right. You only get five questions. Uh, this person, whoever they are, they're gone now. You're not talking to them. You're just talking to an echo. It's a memory. There's not anything that can be bargained with. There's nothing that can be tricked. This is just this is just a reflection. Can it lie? Yes, yes. it can lie. So, okay. That's why we're making him look like his boss. And we'll have no reason to think you aren't who you are, but you have to remember that it also thinks you know what you know. Mm. So when you ask it questions, <clears throat> You have to do so in a way that is familiar and open and with the understanding that you two have a bond. We didn't catch this guy's name, did we? Won't matter if you do it right. What do we want to ask I can him? send him a message and ask him. <clears throat> hey, what was the name of that hobgoblin you were with? No, no, what was your name? What was also, your what was your name? <laughs> I could fit it all in. Mm. Maybe we'll just stick to whatever we want to ask him. I recommend friend as always. Friend. Or as little as possible. You don't have to, there's nobody there you have to, this is this is just a body now. He didn't seem like the type of person that would say friend, mm -hmm. FYI, when I had a little talk with him before. Yeah, mm. maybe just, hey. Do we, do we have a request for questions? Oh, that's good. Well, we want to know what they were handing off, what they bought with their 50 platinum. Also, where in? Bozostan. Bazostan. Bozogaz. Exxon. Do they reside? Just say that you need their help. Help on, uh, for what? Answering these questions. Your mind is hazy and you need help getting home. What were you handing off? Just as a it? note, so you should know. Mm -hmm. The spell speak with dead is you asking the question. Oh, I have to, to do it? it? I was. I'm, I'm, I was looking because I, th I think it I said can, that anyone could. I can point them to you. Like that is what can be done, because mm. uh, 
uh, as it says, this is you can ask the corpse up to five questions. I can, I can the frame castle. that. I can frame that. Be like, I can. Yeah. If we wait another day, I can make you look like this fellow. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Okay. He can look like it too, but Ford can sound I, I like it. I got him. an idea. I got I'm possible. going to make myself look like Blondie Bear. Ooh. So I look like the drow, and you look like the blonde. Yeah. Greg. Greg. Greg, Greg okay. Blondhead. Okay. What? Mm. Do you sound like the blonde haired guy? No. But you're going to ask questions. Okay. Okay. Step behind. Start yeah. rolling this. Mm-hmm. Let's do okay. number one. You burn the incense, you reach out and touch the disembodied head of the hobgoblin that you had slain the day before. You hear this weird sucking sound as it tries to draw air through a severed neck. Its eyes flicker open and just look out and move in their sockets dryly across the somewhat congealed moisture in the sockets towards you, Caduceus. I step behind Caduceus's shoulder and say, my friend, it is so good to see you again. Do me a favor, time is very short. Answer my friend's questions here as quickly as you can. I have pressing business elsewhere. And I walk over. Deception check. Yeah. Oh, fuck me go. You son of a bitch. Oh my God. 13. 14. 14. Okay. Did you complete your mission? <laughs> yes. Repeat your mission. Keep him safe. More specific. Whom? Prove yourself. Oban. Oh, Oban. Oh, Guys, do you want me over your shoulder? No, I don't. I think. still look like the guy he was meeting. Um. That's, she did do the handoff. Is it a female dragon? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Up to you. This is your call. I'll stand over your shoulder. It doesn't hurt. Yeah. I still look. Oh, fleek. Okay. You pull a prayer of healing for anybody who needs a little bit of HP even before they restore their own stuff, so. I would not turn it down. Um, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. 12, 18, 23 hit points to anybody who wants it. Okay. 